All right, so in today's lesson, we're going to talk about practicing FTP security. And this is an article I found online um, in order to show you and just demonstrate that uh, FTP means file transfer protocol. And what that means is when you transfer files from your computer to a server, uh, you use an FTP client. Something such as uh, FileZilla which uh, is a free uh, open source FTP solution which I use and have been using for many many years and have never had an issue with it. There are other FTP solutions out there on the market however I find this one to be the easiest to use and uh, it's free and it's updated often so I really enjoy using it. Um, that being said uh, FTP security um, has many risks. Making yourself aware of them is crucial. Um, purest form, it's far from secure as we can see here. What it does is it transmits your data over a network in plain text. So that means that the process between going from your computer to the server is transferred in plain text that people can see. And if they're doing something called packet sniffing, uh, which is something where they're looking at the packets of data being transferred over the internet, um, they can intercept that information and very easily be able to hijack your sites, um, getting your username, your password. Um, see, there's so many things that they can do. Um, so what we want to do is we want to use something called SFTP. Okay, so uh, the way to do that, you have to contact your host, and I recommend you use HostGator. And when you set it up, what you want to do is you want to um, get your domain name or your server IP, your control panel, username, your password. And normally you want to use port 222 as opposed to port 21, which is what most sites use. In order to set that up, uh, what we want to do is we want to go to Site Manager and we want to enter in um, 